Hi, friend. Before I tell the story, I would like to quote the classic: "All happy families resemble each other. Each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way." This statement has been around for many years, but it has not lost its meaning in the least. For most people, family is something precious and sacred, something that needs to be preserved and protected. The family becomes a protective fortress only when it meets several important conditions to warm up love for each other and make sure everyone is happy. These are the rules that American Kevin Howard followed. He was married to his wife Joyce for more than 12 years. Of course, during this time there were some disagreements and quarrels, but overall, Kevin and Joyce considered themselves the happiest people on earth. All friends and relatives repeated how lucky they are with each other, and it all started corny. Kevin fell in love with Joyce at first sight. They started dating and a year later, they got engaged. Kevin was sure his relationship would last a lifetime. He tried to be a generous and caring husband. worked for the good of the family and thought of no one but Joyce. Soon after the wedding, the couple had children. Kevin bought a large beautiful home in North Carolina where he planned not only to raise children but also to safely meet old age with his beloved wife. In the early morning, Kevin prepared breakfast for his family, planned the schedule of the day and the weekend that he would spend in nature with his children and wife. Everything was as usual, but Joyce was worried about something. Suddenly, she just went to her husband and told him that she wanted to divorce. To the man, the words came out of the blue. There were no prerequisites for a divorce, and Kevin genuinely couldn't understand the reason. But Being a balanced person, he suggested his wife to take her time, discuss everything, and if he offended her in some way or did something wrong, give him a chance to improve. But Joyce was adamant. A man could never even imagine that his wife would do this to him. They lived together so many years. The strange thing was that Joyce didn't want to explain the reason for the divorce, but Kevin decided to find out why the woman he loved, whom he valued, respected, and protected. wanted to break up with him. I think a lot of men will be in solidarity with Kevin and probably would have done the same thing as he did. Neither friends nor even relatives of the couple knew the reason for this decision. They just shrugged their shoulders at all the questions. But everyone supported Kevin. In a desperate attempt to find out what happened, Kevin hired a private investigator. He quickly figured out the situation and in a few days brought evidence that Joyce had a lover. It's hard to imagine what Kevin was going through at that moment. After all, Joyce's lover was her or colleague who repeatedly visited their home, gave gifts to children, and participated in family gatherings. More than that, they fished together, had picnics. discussed politics at the table and he called him a friend. Kevin knew this man well. He considered him a friend. Of course it was a shock, a betrayal by a friend and wife. Kevin was on edge, threatened with depression and the breakdown. A psychologist's advice helped him to cope with everything and start living anew. The man did not make scenes of jealousy and just let his wife go. But male pride and a desire to teach the lovers a little lesson overwhelmed Kevin. So he came up with a brilliant plan. He decided to sue the wife's snatcher and get compensation from him in the amount of $750,000 for moral damage and expenses for a psychologist. For an American court, such a claim is not considered something out of the ordinary and is quite acceptable. Few people know, but in the United States, There is a law on the inadmissibility of interference in marriage and alienation of love. It was long forgotten and people put it into practice. But Kevin decided to go all the way. But for the court to make a positive decision, it was necessary to prove that the couple lived happily before outside interference. The man managed to collect reliable facts of a beautiful marriage. namely a lot of pictures that show the family as well as the support of neighbors and friends on his side and surprisingly 
the court decided in favor of Kevin Howard, who soon received compensation. As stated by the husband's lawyer, in 30 years of practice, I had a first case like this, and it ended positively for Kevin. The man already knows how to spend the money received. He plans to invest some of it in real estate and spend the rest on children and himself. He no longer holds a grudge against his wife and hopes that everything will be fine with her new chosen one. And he says this with a smile and for good reason. After all, as practice shows, such unions soon break up and both cheaters end up with nothing. What do you think? Did the man do the right thing in the situation? Be sure to write your opinion in the comments. Well, that's all for today. See you soon!